So now we're going to look at the electrical installation. We've got a extension lead with a multi socket outlet. It's plugged into the wall now, but that is cabled in through just a single hole in the rear. You can see that cable coming through on the back here, and the um, extension lead is mounted then to the wall. It's got six outlets in it. So then plugged into the extension lead board, we've got a timer with the pl a socket outlet that's connected up to the driver for the LED light. We've got another timer plugged in with the socket and that's plugged into our air pump which is just suspended from a string here to stop it vibrating and uh, connected down into our sprinkler. And lastly, we're using an Inkbird uh, thermostat and that is connected out into our extension lead board into the Inkbird which then has an outlet socket which is powered and that outlet socket plugs in and up through here in the cable and into the fan, the extract fan. So when this temperature probe here on the Inkbird records uh, a temperature, a maximum it hits the maximum set temperature, it'll energize this socket here and it'll switch on the fan. So even though there's only a, a small amount of, of heat coming out of our, our light, pretty much when the light is on, this cabinet is going to warm up a few degrees, uh, which will trigger the fan to come on. So pretty much once the light is on, the fan will come on. So that's all the electrical arrangements. We've kept everything up high and on the left-hand side so we can control it and adjust everything. Um, well out of uh, the range of the plant growth. Last thing to do now with the cabinet is to install some uh, diamond um, mylar around the edges just to maximize the, um, the reflectivity of the light back onto the plants. So we'll do that and give you a quick overview.